Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another most worn video and this is going to be my five most worn fragrances. And I decided to do this one this week because I was actually changing out my fragrance wardrobe and there were exactly five fragrances that are staying in my collection um, throughout any season and they are ones that kind of go with me anywhere and everywhere and I use year round and are definitely my most worn. So I'm gonna start off with uh, one of my favorite fragrances from Jo Malone. This is wood sage and sea salt and this is my second full size uh, or larger size bottle of this I absolutely love this fragrance on its own or paired with almost any other Jo Malone fragrance I feel like this is a perfect fragrance to kind of tone things down if something's a little bit too floral a little bit too sweet a little bit too heavy it's also perfect on its own and it is just kind of a warm woody day at the beach that's the only way I can really describe this fragrance I used to think it really reminded me of fall um, and I do wear it on its own most often in the fall but it also has a little bit of a freshness to it and it's something that I definitely wear a lot in the spring as well and like I said I love pairing this with a lot of my other Jo Malone scents and it is just a beautiful beautiful fragrance so this is definitely on my list of most worn fragrances and keeping with Jo Malone my other um, Jo Malone fragrance that made this list is my dark amber and ginger lily and this is a definitely a warmer fragrance that makes me think of fall for sure um, and winter but after watching I think it was Fleur de Force um, who had said that she, this reminded her of sun cream or sunscreen um, and I re that really sort of resonated with me because um, it does have something in this fragrance that is warm but almost a little bit like not really coconutty but I don't know there's something in it that I decided to try to wear it in the summertime and I actually love it in the summer especially in the evenings when there's kind of a warm breeze if you're somewhere like at the beach or um, in sort of a warmer tropical location I think this fragrance is absolutely beautiful especially for going out in the evenings and um, definitely one that I've gotten a lot of use out of this was my first bottle and it's about halfway gone now um, and I will probably purchase this in the smaller size since they have now come out with the smaller size um, of the Cologne Intense Jo Malone fragrances which I was excited about because these are quite pricey but um, really really love this and definitely a another favorite of mine in my fragrance collection. My next most worn fragrance is from Tom Ford it is White Suede and this is a pretty new fragrance to me I think I picked it up uh, early this year in the winter time but I have been wearing it through all the seasons and it's not going anywhere this is just a warm but sort of powdery light fragrance that um, you can definitely wear day evening any occasion I wear it a lot when I'm going into the office and people always ask me what I'm wearing it is just a beautiful delicate white scent from Tom Ford and my next most worn fragrance is from Chanel. This is Chanel Beige, and this is another fragrance that definitely works for any season. Um, I would describe this as like a soft, creamy, musky floral that um, kind of works for all occasions, again, daytime, evening, something I definitely can wear to the office. It's not overpowering, and it is just a beautiful, hard to describe um, fragrance, definitely a little bit sweet, um, but something I absolutely love and get a ton of use out of. And my favorite time to wear this is actually in the spring or in the fall, so I'm starting to wear it quite a bit again, and I absolutely love it. And my most worn of all of my fragrances, which will not come as a surprise to many of you who follow me here, um, would have to be my Chanel number no. five. And this is uh, Low, which I have been absolutely loving this year. Um, it is a fragrance that is sort of a lighter fresher take on Chanel number no. five it's something that I feel like it's warm but it's not too heavy it's something that is a little bit fresh and um, just absolutely beautiful soft and comforting um, I definitely would say this reminds me of like a cozy cashmere blanket it smells beautiful and expensive but at the same time comforting and warm and just um, cozy I absolutely love this fragrance and it's something that I wear daytime evening to work um, just all the time and it has been my signature scent for many years and it's one that will probably never leave my fragrance collection so that is all of my top five most worn fragrances would love to know what some of yours are I am such a fragrance junkie if you have any um, 
videos out there about some of your favorite fragrances, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to watch them. And um, I do have one fragrance on my wish list that I think I'm gonna be picking up soon. So I'm not even gonna tell you what it is yet. It'll probably come out in my monthly favorites, but um, something I have just been absolutely loving since I got a sample of it. And um, it is probably the only fragrance I'll add to my quite extensive collection this year. Um, I'm hoping to do a full fragrance collection video soon. For anyone who's interested, let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great week. Bye.